and welcome to our 80s life. If you're new to our channel, my name is Abby, my husband Keith and I are 80s kids, and we're a little obsessed with the 80s. One of my favorite things to do is to go to local estate sales and thrift shops and buy back my childhood one piece at a time by finding all of these awesome 80s things, especially 80s toys. And oh boy, I have a huge thrift haul to share with you guys today, so stay tuned. Okay, I have to start with this little girl because I just got her this morning and I'm so excited. Look at her. She's so perfect, you guys. So this is one of the Cabbage Patch Premies from 1985. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen a little sneak peek of her because I did post a picture of her this morning. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, you totally should. We're on Instagram at our 80s life. So y'all know I love Cabbage Patch Kids, especially the Coleco Kids from the early 80s because those were the ones that I had as a kid. And so my friends know that I love Cabbage Patch Kids and two of my friends messaged me and said, you gotta go to this estate sale. They have a Cabbage Patch Kids still in the box. Now the way it works is these estate sales, they post online and we use estatesales.net to find the sales and then they will have pictures of what's there. So this one didn't actually have any pictures, it just said Cabbage Patch still in box. So I got up this morning and got in line to go to the estate sale right when it opened because these little things like this will go fast. So it opened at nine, got there right on time, went in the door and my friend Gina, hi Gina if you're watching, <laughs> she said, she put her hand on it and she was like, I'm holding this for you because I know you'd want it, which was so nice. I did want her, she was perfect. I don't always buy them, but y'all, this was a good price. She's a preemie. She came with her adoption papers. She came in her original box here, but she had been removed in the past, but she still had like all her tags and stuff, but she wasn't wired in. So that's why I didn't mind taking her out of the box. But here are her papers and she is named Elsa Bonnie, and I just think that she is precious. So welcome to the patch, Elsa Bonnie. Along with the theme of Cabbage Patch Kids, there was one sale that was selling Cabbage Patch Kids clothes. They didn't have any dolls, but they had clothes. So I bought this bag. These ones are actually handmade clothes, and then these ones, our original 80s Cabbage Patch Kids clothes from, some are from Coleco, some are from Hasbro. Collectors would recognize this. This is from the designer line. And I think these are pretty sought after with collectors. So I got the little jacket. It's so 80s, you guys. Look at it, it has a Walkman on it. And just this really fun pattern and then it has these little overalls that go under and it makes this complete outfit. So this is Cabbage Patch Designer line, super fun. And there were several outfits in there that were all just really nice and in good condition. I know this one is also popular with collectors. This is the little yellow teddy bear overalls. They come in different colors, but I didn't have any of these, so I was, excited to find them in that little grab bag of clothes. You guys probably noticed I got quite a few plush items this time and my best find was this. This is Share Bear. This is an original Care Bear still in the box. I was super stoked to find this. I have some of the old vintage Care Bears but this is the first one that I've bought that's still in its box from the 80s. It's in great condition. I had to drive to a nearby town to get this one, but it was well worth the drive, and I'm excited to add Sheer Bear to our collection. At that same sale, I got some other Care Bear stuff. This one, the Care Bears and the Big Sneeze. It's a little book, and it was actually a promotional book for a cold medicine, so I thought that was really interesting. And I was able to get this. They actually gave me this for free because I was buying other things, and sometimes they're cool like that. 
Do you guys remember these? When you would go to like McDonald's or this one's from Pizza Hut, they would give you like this little hand puppet. <laughs> Hello. So cute, this tender heart bear. And then I got two of these mobiles. It's like a little kit that you can put together and make a Care Bears mobile. So there's a Care Bears one and, oh, this is the Care Bears cousins. And then this one is the Care Bears. At the same sale with the Care Bears, I also got this California raisin still in the package. Now I know these are from the early 90s, but I could not resist these two Furbies. I've seen Furbies for sale before, and they're usually marked pretty high. But these guys were a total steal at $2 each, and they work, so that is awesome. I was also excited to find this Heathcliff plush with the original tag, it's in excellent condition, and you really don't see a lot of Heathcliff. I see more Garfield than I do Heathcliff. I think this was the first plushie that I've ever seen of him, so he's pretty cute. The other plush I got was this E.T. He's so adorable, and I got this guy from a church rummage sale, so he was super cheap. He's not from the 80s, but of course he's an 80s character, and I think he's very fun. And then these little guys, I got a small Felix the Cat and a little Snoopy. Do you guys remember these types of ones where you squeeze right here and he can hold on to stuff, like you could put him on your pencil or something? And I almost forgot to mention Puppy Surprise. I got this one at a church rummage sale for like I think 50 cents or something, but it was very like dirty and stained. But look how pretty she is now. She washed up so nicely. And in case you missed it, I made a little short about that. Honey, I got you a surprise. What is it? Puppy surprise. Another theme for this month was things in original packages, like dead stock. So I found some different things. The first one, this cassette player. I love to buy things like this, partly for the product, but mostly for the packaging. Like, look at this dude. He is just chilling there with his little kind of knockoff Walkman cassette player. So it had some old batteries in it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I just, I love the red color. I love the packaging. It was very cheap. So I went ahead and got it. I think I paid like $2, yeah, $2 for it. And it's still in the box. Also items still in the box, and I love the cool 80s packaging. These are so fun. I mean, the product is okay, but the packaging is awesome. A universal book light? It's battery operated. I looked inside, it's never been used. It didn't have any old batteries in it, so Technically, it should work. I haven't tried it yet, but it should. And then this thing, Cubit. I don't remember this product, but it's very cute. It's just a little, like, acrylic. I can open it and show it to you. It's just a little acrylic box that you could use to, like, store your cotton balls and stuff in, I guess. It was made in 1988, and I just thought it was fun. The package says, the neat way to dispense and display cotton balls, beads, flowers, and even potpourri, you guys. So there you go, cube it. <laughs> and this last one I was very excited about. This was from the same house with the Cabbage Patch Kids, you guys. That was an awesome sale this morning. So glad I went. Um, it's one of those lighted mirrors. This is a Clairol Pretty Looks Anywhere. So it's like a portable one. It's a pretty shade of purple. It has amazing pictures on the back. So you can use it at the office or when you're traveling or any of those kind of things. It's beauty on the go. It's brand new. It's still in the box. It has an old school Target tag for $15.99, but I got it for a dollar. Just for fun, I picked up this 
Snickers promotional item. It was just like a little tin. Um, it's labeled from 1990 special edition and it's of course supposed to be like a little jam box. So I just thought that was so fun and cute. And speaking of jam box, I got a bunch of cassette tapes. Now, in case you missed it, our last video, we showed you a product that we got that we can transfer cassette tapes to MP3, so we can essentially digitize them. So we mostly just bought that for our personal cassettes, not like music, because the quality isn't great, but um, for like goofy tapes that I made as a kid telling jokes and whatnot. Um, so speaking of that, I bought someone's collection of cassettes. I love this case. It just says cassettes. It's so totally 80s. And inside, it is full of this girl's tapes. And um, she recorded herself and her friends. And I've listened to a couple of them. They're, they're pretty entertaining. They might be something that you can expect to hear in a future podcast. Along with some of my own silly tapes. And then this other sale, I picked up these cassette tapes. I love to see what people made. This is like a mixtape, right? We would call it a mixtape. Before playlist, we had mixtapes. And um, these were even dated. So this is March 13th, 1984, very specific, on side A. And then side B is December 16th, 1984. I just think it's so fun to see what somebody chose to put on this tape. They obviously went to a lot of time and trouble to make that. And then this one is from 1984 and it's got some good song songs on it as well. It's got like Prince and um, Madonna, you know, all the classic 80s from 1984. And then uh, speaking of Prince, 1999, this is just such a great tape. I just, they were like, four for a dollar or something. <laughs> so I just I just grabbed the best ones. This one's neat, it's 1980s New Wave and it was uh, made in 1990. So I'm interested to see what songs that they thought were like the New Wave classics back in 1990. And then I could not pass up Top Gun, mostly for the art. I'm not gonna necessarily be popping this in and listening to it. But I just love Top Gun and it's great artwork. And for a quarter, why would I not get this? In addition to the tapes, I got two movies. I got The Muppet Show, you guys. And this is really cool. It's the complete first season, season one of The Muppets. It looks brand new. Like, I don't even know if these people ever even watched it. And so it's four discs. I remember watching these. I probably haven't seen these original ones um, since I was a little kid, so that is so fun. And then I also got this one, it's an early 90s movie, The Sandlot, but I got it for um, sentimental value because this movie was the first movie that Keith and I saw on our very first date together. I love to read and I especially enjoy buying books from the 80s. So here are some that I bought this month. The Simple Solution to the Rubik's Cube. I still haven't figured out how to solve that. The Hundredth Smurf, and y'all, Mr. T, The Everglade Adventures. This is hysterical. Who knew there were Mr. T books? I love this, it's so 80s. I almost always buy anything that's like scary or spooky, and so I got this one. I can read about ghosts. It's hysterical, you guys, so funny, so cute. And this one, The Pike River Phantom, I have not read this, but it's by Betty Wren Wright, and I do remember reading some of her books in the 80s. My favorite one was The Dollhouse Murders. Did any of you guys read that? I totally used to pretend like my dollhouse was haunted. I got two promotional books, like from different um, companies. This one is Peter Pan and it's a little activity book from Peter Pan Peanut Butter from the 80s. And then this one is actually 1978 but it's so cool. It's a um, McDonald's calendar. Now did you guys ever have these? I guess it was a promotional deal at McDonald's. 
I don't know if you had to buy them. I'm assuming they gave them to you. Uh, but it would have a calendar, and then on each month you got a free thing. Like this one was a free regular size soft drink. This one was a free sandwich. Wow. And so each month you would have a treat. Free soft drink again for this one, and you would bring in your coupon and get a treat. And it was a coloring book type thing, but no one ever colored this one. So I thought it was pretty cool. And speaking of calendars, I also got the 1979 Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders calendar. So you might be wondering why I bought this, but I thought it was so fun. And you guys, here's a little secret. When I was a little, little kid, like maybe five, we moved to Dallas when I was three. So we went to some of the Dallas Cowboys games, and by the time I was about five, um, I filled out this thing that said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And my teacher helped me write the words, and I wrote that I wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. <laughs> so I, I actually wrote, I either wanted to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader or a librarian, one of the two. If the cheerleader thing didn't work out, then I was totally gonna be a librarian. <laughs> I didn't do any of those things. And then at another sale, I got this vintage Dallas Cowboys cheerleader patch. Now, if you've watched my thrift hauls before, you know I love to find smalls, small little tiny things like jewelry and trinkets from the 80s and little toys and I got a bunch of stuff to share with you guys this month. First off, let's talk grab bags. I love a good grab bag. They're usually about a dollar and they have all kinds of fun stuff in it. Do you guys remember these little snake puzzles from the 80s and a lot of these are like um, I guess party favors and stuff so that's fun. I actually have not looked through here yet. This one is like little doodads for crafting. Little cuties. Crafts. It's crafting stuff, guys. It's just little little crafting things, but from the 80s. So they're they're vintage crafts that were never used. And then um, this whole big bag of football helmets. I don't know why I bought that, but I guess I thought I might do something with them. You just never know. I'm, I'm a crafter at heart, so I'm always crafting. And speaking of that, I have not forgotten about my dollhouse project. And I'm I'm just still sourcing everything. So I got two pieces of furniture. I'm getting ready to start the living room. I think I've got everything I need now to start the living room. So be watching for that soon. Some uh, jewelry. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, Charmkins. Remember those? And some jingle charms, my first ever jingle charms to find in the wild. I was very excited. I got the train and the little baby bottle. So how fun was that? Um, oh, and some really cool like 80s jewelry, some earrings. I love these. Um, these earrings as well. And inside here there's, I think, three pairs. So fun. And look, you guys, a Mickey Mouse vintage pen and Book It. Who remembers Book It? We were talking about how much I enjoyed reading in the 80s. You definitely wanted to read and earn your Book It pen. You can see here it's dated 1985 from Pizza Hut Incorporated. An authentic 80s Book It pen. How fun. And then this little bag is just all kinds of... Um, 80s holiday stuff, little Santa charms, and my favorite Hallmark pens, and this is an Avon pen still in the package. So fun. And then I got this doodad shelf here because I love the shape of it, and I just thought it was so cool, and it was only a few dollars. It's just somebody's made it out of wood. And then this clock, y'all. How cool. This is mid-century, actually. It's it's uh, it's probably from, if I had to guess, I'd probably say the 60s. The bright, vibrant colors. It's made in Germany, West Germany. But I just got it because look at the color. It looks like it needs to go in this room, right? Here, let's just put it over here. 
and put it here by the record player. Oh my gosh, I just love that. And I did get some new records. I'm gonna wait and do a separate vinyl haul because this video is getting kind of long and there's so many of them. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying Abby's Thrift Haul. If you missed seeing me or you missed our last video about our vintage record haul, it is linked below. And y'all know we love to buy vintage glassware. This month did not disappoint. We got this really cool Pac-Man glass. And I love that it has the little design on the inside too. And then a handy Smurf to add to our Smurf collection, which our Smurf glass collection, you guys, is kind of exploded. We have these ones here, and then we also have some upstairs in the kitchen. This is in our bar in our um, basement. But we did complete our ET collection and our Care Bears, we've had those for a while. So anyway, I just think that makes such a fun display. Okay, but back to this month's find, we got this tab glass. I've been looking at these for a while and I finally broke down and bought one because they're just so fun. Remember the commercials where tab was gonna make you skinny, so the glass was skinny, that's fun. And then the Snoopy glass, we don't actually collect the Snoopy ones. These are from McDonald's. But um, it was such a great deal, and I love that it says morning people are hard to love because I'm not a morning person at all, and so I can definitely um, agree with that sentiment, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, I always look for these, you guys. This is the FTD rainbow mug. I was so pumped to find one of these in excellent condition. Don't know if I can part with it. I have one. It's like my favorite mug. I drink out of it all the time. And then another mug I found. This one, I believe, is from the Hallmark. Yeah, it's a Hallmark one. And it's, I just liked what it said. Keep youth in your heart and you'll never grow old. And it's these kites and stuff. I just thought that was, that was fun. This one I actually found at the Goodwill. So it was like, I think, 50 cents. And then, you guys, I got another Where's the Beef mug. I had not seen these ever. And then the last month I found one. And then this month I found one. So that's cool. So this is all the glassware that we found this month. And then this little Pac-Man guy. Oh, my gosh. He is so cute. Let me show you what he does. <laughs> 